What's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and it's been 48 hours since our Cordyceps um, breeding project started. And I wanted to just do a quick update. So I got about 13 single uh, Ascospore isolates, and they're starting to um, come from the, the water auger onto the MEA. And you can see how healthy these are looking after 48 hours. Um, I incubated them at 73 degrees and they're all coming in clean. So there's three different mating types for cordyceps and essentially I'm just gonna be waiting till all these cultures grow out and then I'll be crossing them on a separate Petri dish and then all the compatible Ascospores that mate will form one solid mycelium. So if you haven't checked out my previous um, breeding videos, it's very similar. Um, there are some PCR um, procedures that you can use at this stage that would cut out waiting for these uh, um, the mycelium to grow out so you can cross them. You can use uh, different primers and probes to figure out what mating type these are and then that would save a lot of time but um, I'm just going to show the most rudimentary sure way to breed the cordyceps so you can see I've got about 13 of these which is giving me pretty good odds to finding a good good mating pair and then also I've got um, the beetle on water auger so this is a uh, tissue from the same cordyceps and you can see the mycelium is budding up against that that beetle so i'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen with that um, i've got some of the the spore beetles but there's not really any growth on these yet and then i've got my spore print um, a few of these spore prints that i'm going to use to make my multi-spore liquid culture. So I'm probably gonna do that this week. Um, there's a pretty good concentration on these plates. And then for my uh, streak isolation plates, it looks like I got a little bacteria. So I'm gonna have to go back and um, re-isolate these spores. I might go right off these plates because they look pretty clean. But the one from the fridge that had been in there for a while is showing some bacterial and it looks like there's a few clean colonies on here, but I'm just gonna start over. Um, I'd rather just have a clean plate to start with than try and isolate uh, colonies when I have so many clean ones already. But that's the 48 hour update. Um, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna continue this process until we get some fruiting bodies and hopefully I'll be able to release those in a few months online and then, you know, we'll have some fresh cordyceps strains. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. Share this video if you think other people will find it useful. Um, check out our Etsy shop if you want to purchase our cultures, fresh fungi on Etsy. Uh, we just got some mugs on there too if you want to support us and rock the mush love um, coffee mug. That's available on Etsy, um, but until next time, much love guys.